Hello, this is Romeo Cat Computers, and today I have a, a basic video on how to make a very basic transistor AM transmitter that works on a two-pin crystal. So when you when I usually look up how to build a basic AM transmitter, I usually get the very very basic ones that uh, use a four-pin crystal. And those four pin ones, they basically have all the circuitry inside. All you do is you give it power, give it audio, and it does all the stuff for you. And I thought that was kind of too easy. I want to build a radio kind of from scratch. But then you have the radios on the other end where they use like a bajillion different resistor values. And you have to solve equations to figure out what kind of resistors you need and whatever. And uh, same with capacitors and you need very specific things so this this video i kind of want to fill in the gap there's not a whole lot of instructions like this but here here's a basic am transmitter uh so i'm gonna throw the schematic on the screen so if you want to build it so I'll pause the video right now uh, and uh, i guess copy it or do whatever you need to do okay so i'll quickly go over uh the layout here so this LED that's just a power indicator uh, and you see I got uh, three transistors that is for the first half of the circuit that's the second half and that's the amplifier um, and then you have some little capacitors down there um, and then of course you have the crystal itself uh, and I'll go over the crystal and everything a bit later so when I was building this I essentially had to build two circuits I had to build the circuit that makes the crystal actually oscillate because these two pin crystals aren't that simple you have to build a special circuit it's called the coal pits oscillator circuit um, and then once you do that all you have is the oscillation you need to use that oscillation to modulate the audio and so the second half is a basic or a basic uh, mixer that's what they call to uh, I guess they call it because you mix the audio in the oscillation, but you use the oscillation modulation doing this way makes an AM or amplitude modulation. And then this last transistor is just an amplifier, uh, this right here. Uh, that's not really necessary, but I will tell you this. If you build it exactly as it is as I show you right now, it is very, very weak. And it only travels a couple of inches so if you know how to do it I suggest you try to get some kind of amplifier or something so you're probably wondering where I plug the audio in well I cut out this old uh, audio cable and so you see here's the uh, signal and this parts the ground so I will connect that in there okay so I got an alligator clip here so I'll just, since this part, the audio ground needs to connect, to connect to the common ground on the rest of the circuit, um, I will just connect that up with an alligator clip. And on the diagram, it shows you where you need to connect the audio source. Alright, and then this, this side of that resistor right here is connected to ground, so I'll just latch onto that. And there we go. So then I can just plug this into MP3 player, computer, or cell phone, anything that outputs audio. Um, I will mention that you probably want line level instead of headphone level, uh, just to have a bit of extra power. And then turn your uh, audio all the way up. Now, some MP3 players might not do it as well as some other ones. Um, so, you know, you kind of want to find something that works. So I'll just be using this as cell phone here. Um, so I'll get that hooked up. And then I'm going to be powering it off a 9 volt battery. Now the coal pits oscillator, you can power it between 5 and 12 volts. Um, I just have a 9 volt because I have this little uh, 9 volt connector there that easily goes into my breadboard. So let's connect that up. Okay, there we go. So I've connected my audio source and I've connected the battery. And even if you don't feed it an audio source, you should be able to hear on the radio that immediately all of the noise goes quiet. And that's because it's still oscillating. Like, it's outputting signal. There's just no audio in that signal. 
So here I have the uh, phone. Um, so let's pick a good YouTube video here. Uh, I don't know. Let's look at Linus Tech Tips uh, video about how he hates different electrical plugs. Or no, it was something about he didn't like that all the countries have different plugs and different standards, which is kind of annoying. So, now to pick this up, you just need an AM capable radio. So here I have my uh, Sony uh, SW7600GR. Um, any radio would do as long as you can go to the frequency your crystal oscillates at and uh, you can uh, you, you can set your radio to AM. So, uh, here, I'll turn the volume down and we'll turn the radio on. Now, I already have this set to what the crystal is, but you're going to want to change the frequency to your crystal. So, uh, this particular crystal is 7.159 megahertz. Uh, but, again, yours might be different. And I'm going to show you a different crystal in a bit here that is a different frequency. Uh, but to show that it works on different frequencies. So, let's turn the... Uh, that up. Alright, now the signal is going to be very weak. Uh, let's see, do I have the volume up on the phone? Well, it doesn't sound like Linus, but I mean, it sounds like him talking. Well, I mean, this isn't being very cooperative at the moment, but, I mean, you can tell that the signal is getting through, and of course, um, I mess with this a lot, and, uh, it kind of just depends on the phase of the moon and the alignment of the planets, I mean, you know, kind of, you bump something, and then it all of a sudden changes everything, but, uh, I was able to get this working pretty good yesterday. Hey, there we go. So you can see, you got to be really close to it. Um, again, yeah, you're probably going to want an amplifier. Alright, all right, here's his one about USB. Uh, oh gosh, I don't want this. You know what really overcooks my pasta? When groups of seemingly very smart people in positions of power in the tech world build this really cool technology, then when it's finally time to bring it to market, come up with naming schemes for it that makes no sense. Alright, so I'm going to demonstrate it on a different crystal. So this one is, uh, let's see here, it is a uh, 3.579 megahertz. So, I'll unplug this crystal here. And just plug this one in. Now I just got to tune to the new frequency, so I believe it was, a. Uh, 3.579. Yeah, so, and then also, it's, uh, you know, frequencies might have more noise or might not work as well so if you have a lot of crystals kind of experiment around see see which one kind of works the best but uh, uh, for me these are the only two crystals I have sitting around um, so uh, that's it for this uh, Romeo cat computers video I hope you found this interesting and it might inspire you to make your own radio or just recreate this one so uh, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.